Welcome back. Today we're going to learn how to say thank you to somebody. It works similarly to saying nice to meet you or hello. You're going to speak differently depending on who you're talking with. First of all, to close friends or people who are also the same age as you or younger and you're close with, you can simply say komawo, komawo, komawo. Or to people who look to be the same age as you or younger and you're not in a formal situation, you can just say komawo yo. And to anyone else in any situation when you want to be polite, such as thanking the bus driver, thanking your teacher, or thanking your boss, you can use either komapsunida or kamsahamnida. Komapsunida, kamsahamnida. Either of those are fine. Of those two, kamsahamnida is slightly more formal though, so if you're in a formal situation, I recommend that. Some notes about this though. Kamsahamnida comes from the verb kamsahada, which means to be grateful or to be thankful. Komawo, komawo yo, and komapsumida all come from the verb komapta, which also means to be thankful or to be grateful. In Korean, verbs conjugate, they change their form depending on how they're being used. So notice how komapta could become either komawo, komawo yo, or komapsumida, as well as others, and that each one of those conjugations can be used in a different situation. Komawo being used with close friends, komawo yo being used with anyone else, and komapsumida being used in any polite situation. And in Korean, all verbs can conjugate like this and many other ways, and we will be learning about verbs and how they conjugate in later lessons. Now, to say you're welcome after someone says thanks, you have a few options. If you're talking with a close friend who's the same age as you or younger, you can just say, Ania, 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 Ania. And to anyone else in any other situation, you can just say, Anieyo, Anieyo. Or in a very formal situation, such as to say you're welcome to your boss, you can also use, Animnida, Animnida. Here are some more notes. All three of these, ania, anieyo, and animnida, are conjugations of the verb anida, which means to not be. It's actually the exact opposite of the verb ida, which became ieyo or yeo. So when you're saying you're welcome in Korean, what you're really just saying is, no, it is not. It is not something. In this way, they mean, it is not something that you have to thank me for. Anya, anya. Anieyo, animida. It's not something you have to thank me for. Alternatively, you might come across the expression chanman eyo. Chanman eyo. This is another more formal and these days outdated way of saying you're welcome. So let's take a look at a conversation between two close friends, Hijin and Suyeon. Komawo, thanks. Anya, you're welcome. Or no, you don't have to thank me for that. Or if these were just acquaintances and not close friends, they could say, Komawo yo, anieyo. Or if Hijin is talking to a teacher or someone she just wants to show extra respect toward, you could have, Kamsamnida, anieyo. So in this lesson, you learn how to say thank you and also how to reply by saying you're welcome. So practice everything in this lesson and I'll see you next time. 그럼 다음에 또 봐.